start with the content of the talk so let's let's go back to a different time and place because the story of graph theory begins in the year 1736 let me just get the pen so let's go back to the year 1736 in the empire of prussia in europe now prussia isn't a country today but it was a powerful empire in the past and as you can see from the map here where i've colored prussia as dark blue prussia was an important german kingdom that existed prior to the modern country of germany so the modern country of germany is shown in beige here in the map the capital of the east eastern part of the prussian empire was konigsberg which i have shown which i have marked as orange as an orange spot here so konigsberg so the capital of the eastern part of the prussian empire which was kind of a precursor to the modern country of germany now we are concerned about konigsberg around the year 1736 so let me show you a picture of konigsberg konigsberg was a flourishing city and it was located on the banks of the pregel river you can see the pregel river here so it was a, a flourishing city on the banks of the pregel river and ships could easily come in and go out of the city because of the river and that made trade possible so you find this many times in history that you know when a city is located on the bank of a river then uh, transportation of goods into and out of the city is, is, is very easy because of which uh, trade gets enabled and the trade enabled by convenient transportation facilities in Königsberg made the lives of the local merchants living there uh, very comfortable so the city officials had a lot of money thanks to uh, you know this booming economy enabled by the trade so what did they do with all that money well they built seven bridges across the pregel river so here you see a cartoon schematic of the city uh, and you can see that most of these bridges connect the island in the middle of the river so this green area is the land part of the city and the blue part is the river itself and these yellow lines represent the bridges the seven bridges of Königsberg so most of these bridges connect the island in the middle of the river to uh, the other parts of the city but there are also uh, some other bridges as you can see over here now what do people do when they have a comfortable life and enjoy a time of peace and prosperity well, at least some people amuse themselves with mind puzzles and that's what the people of Königsberg did too and one of the mind puzzles that they idled over was the following can one walk across the uh, seven bridges without crossing the same bridge twice okay I repeat can one let me write this down can one walk across the seven bridges without crossing the same bridge twice
Okay, let me number the uh, bridges. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Yeah, please go ahead. After one, okay, sure. That's the right answer. Are you a faculty member or are you a student there? Okay, not a, not a surprise. Then. Uh, yeah, that's the right answer. But I assume that there there will be uh, many people there who uh, may not understand what was just said. So uh, I'm going to explain in the next several minutes uh, the solution to this problem. But uh, I just wanted to introduce it in a historical way. Because the people of Königsberg thought a lot about this problem, but nobody could find such a path. They in fact asked the mayor of Königsberg the answer to the problem, and the mayor said, how, how am I supposed to solve the problem because, you know, I'm the mayor after all, I'm not a mathematician. So this is where uh, we introduce probably the greatest mathematician of all, Leonhard Euler. The mayor of Königsberg sent a letter to this famous mathematician who was living in St. Peter Petersburg, not very far from Königsberg at that time. And in his letter to Euler, the mayor said the following. You would render to me and our friend Kuhn the mo a most valuable service, putting us greatly in your debt, most learned sir. If you could send us the solution, which you know well, to the problem of the seven Königsberg bridges, together with a proof, it would prove to be an outstanding example of the calculus of position. Don't worry about what this means. Worthy of your great genius, I have added a sketch of the said bridges. So the ma so the problem was important enough for the people there that the mayor sent a letter, formal letter to Euler, asking him to solve the problem. Now Euler came up with a proof that such a path which crosses the seven bridges